Well, everyone, thank you. As we come to the conclusion and close of our 11th family meeting, I'm reminded again about the power of meeting the families in person. We've all had an opportunity to connect with first-time attendees and catch up with those we already know. We all live with the life of AHC that not only impacts our child, but impacts the entire family. We can't help but focus on the episodes and how long they are and how it stops our child from doing the things that other children do and how helpless we feel as our child is in an episode. As a parent, I find myself at a point that I want to scream and cry and I feel very alone. But then I think about my daughter and her life and what she goes through every day and I realize that I don't own that right. We celebrate, as we celebrate our children, the posters in the hall and this video behind me show that the children are amazing and able and happy and full of tenacity and they will not allow AHC to define them. They, are, they warm our hearts with their eagerness to engage and try new things. This meeting is in honor of our children, and we celebrate the kids. To continue celebrating our kids, we would like everyone who attended to consider writing an honorarium of their child and share this with the AHC community on our website. I'd like Josh to give you a little more information um, about our honorariums and how it can help you and and be uh, a tool for you. Thanks, Lynn. If Bill, Bill can do me a favor and pull up the area on our website, it's very easy to find. We've, we've had this honorarium underneath the community area, and we have an honorarium. And this is just our collection of personal stories that we've gathered from families. Um, it's very easy. I'm actually the guy who does it for you and it takes just a little bit of thought for you to write a few paragraphs about your journey through AHC and whether it's long or short and send me some pictures. And we'll put together a, a page and they all look about the same but we, we organize them differently. Um, so this is Kathleen's and people can, you know, read the story and kind of learn what Kathleen's all about and where she started and where she, we just updated this one recently, so about where she is now. Um, and then at the bottom, each page has a, a donate button. So um, people can contribute in that person's name. Um, it does all, <laughs> thanks Bill. <laughs> it, it does all go to the same pot and with the same purpose, but um, it doesn't go to our general donate pay button. So we have a, um, I, I know my daughter's page has a lot of success with with um, people feeling her story and donating in her name. The the other very convenient thing about this is that once it's done, if you notice up at the top, we make we make the address very simple. It's it's the foundation's address, hdkids.org, and then the kid's name. So it's not a whole bunch of hashtags. It makes it very easy to share. Um, if you write your holiday letters and or a, your kid's got a birthday and they have plenty of toys um, and you maybe just want them to donate donate in her name so it's very easy to to clip share put an email um, and once that thing is set up that the hardest part is just setting it up we can update it as often as you want um, the only caveat to that is I'll remind you that our foundation is all volunteers so <laughs> I may not get to it the very day that you ask, but um, it is a priority. So when, um, and thank you, Bill, you're reminding me of one other thing. Um, like in Rory Greenwood's case, they do they do, do a fundraiser, and we had explained some of the fundraising ideas, but if you do decide to do a fundraiser, all of a sudden people don't have to donate, you know, just to the foundation. We put a special link up there for a time, and that's where people can click through the story and sign up for your fundraiser in a virtual way. So um, 
we can do a lot of that kind of flexibility and switching things in and out. Um, so there's not much else to say. It's very easy. And I welcome you all to send some pictures in and write me a story. And I'd love to get this list uh, a lot longer. Thanks. Thank you, Josh, for that. Yes, Bill, can you turn that down a little? We have listened to the various speakers who have shared their expertise and tips on how to help our kids. We have listened to the researchers give their updates of where they are, what they are doing and where they are going. At our luncheon, we recognize two amazing dedicated physicians, Dr. Anderman and Dr. Silver, for their years of service and continued involvement. We presented Dr. S. at Vanderbilt and Dr. George of Northwestern a check for $250,000 to continue their research. We are fortunate to be surrounded by so many wonderful, truly interested doctors in AHC. Your, their continued work on AHC gets us closer to a treatment and ultimately a cure. To our volunteers, thank you just isn't enough. You allowed our parents to come to the meeting be comfortable leaving their children with you, and you took such amazing care of them. We certainly could not have done it without you. You helped make this meeting a great success. As you know, we try to move the family meeting around the country in order to make it easier for families to travel and attend the meeting. We have chosen location for our 2018 meeting, and we will travel to the East Coast, Newark, New Jersey. Mark your calendar, and we hope to see you there. Thank you so very much, and safe travels. This young woman from Poland is amazing. She swims, she dives. I mean, she is so physically active that it, it, it astounds me because my daughter can't do any of these things or perhaps we haven't exposed her. So I really, every time I see a new, a new video of her, she's cross, um, cross country skiing or, or doing any of these activities is really fantastic. Kind of gives us hope. You know, some of our young ones are going to be able to be as active.
Where's my hook card? He's gonna hit this wall soon. Good job. <laughs> Shot. Watch it roll. Watch it roll. Get in the hole. Oh, nice shot. Bro. A little too hard. Turn it around. You got to hit it the same way all the time. Turn around the other way. That's it. Line up the hole. This is another incredible young woman who, in January of 2015, okay. suffered a catastrophic event was unable to walk for about uh, six months. Through therapy, she's been now been able to come back almost to baseline before her event. Okay, and... Oh, nice shot. Oh, it almost came in. Oh, wait, it's going to come down and hit the hole.
Our second rider is Amelia. She's been with us for a few months, so this is her first horse show. It was instant love the first time you climbed on Snickers back. Can't believe how much fun you had with Miss Caitlin when you did your first trot last week. Keep on smiling, girlfriend. Let's go forward and celebrate our children and find a treatment and cure. Thank you, everyone, and again, safe travels.